Oh, greetings to you all, fine folks. We are the Jolies, a band of four Ukrainians from Odessa who feel Irish at heart. Yes, you heard right. Born in the sun-kissed streets of Odessa, we are Nick, Valerie, Eugene and Dima, bound by our shared love for the Emerald Isle. Even though we've never set foot in Ireland, we have always felt a deep connection to the country and its people. We've played many Irish concerts in Odessa and uh, fell more and more in love with the Celtic traditions. Our hearts played the bowron, our words danced the jig, and our souls were wrapped in the warm green of the Irish fields. We even created a little piece of Ireland in our hometown. If you ask us, is there anything better than an Irish pub? We will answer, of course, no. In the Irish pub, everything is always so sincere, everything is for real. When you come inside, you feel yourself at home, where everything and everyone is so familiar to you. Even if you come alone, you will not be alone. You will always be approached to talk, ask how you are doing, uh, or tell you an interesting story. As it said, there are no strangers in an Irish pub, only friends you haven't met yet. Every time we returned home from another tour, we really missed such a spiritual corner of this wonderful culture. And then we decided to create it. And this is how our small but real Irish pub appeared. Almost every Irish pub has live traditional music sessions. There are musicians of all ages from different countries, from children who just started their music way to old people who are always glad to share their knowledge and experience. And in every moment you can join them for a couple of tunes and songs. In these moments we rejoice in the soul. These are the moments when music is born. The music that connects hearts and continues to carry culture through the years and centuries. You see, we've always had two homes. Odessa, where we lived, and Ireland that lived in us. Hey, Tor and Mo. In the county Galway, one blazing day me in the month of May, I spied a damsel. She was young and handsome, her beauty fairly took my breath away. She wore an old jewels, nor costly diamonds. Traveling is a lifeblood for our band. It's our source of inspiration and gives us the energy to keep going. We've traveled to 32 countries, including the exotic lands of Thailand, the stunning landscapes of Iceland, and the cultural hub of Europe. Each trip is a school of life for us, as we search for answers to the mysteries this world. We'll get to know the way of life of the people and learn a lot for our own lives. We are Irish, born in the body of Ukrainians, and mother's children, born in the body of travelers. We have visited 33 countries so far, and not going to stop there. But you know, the best moment in every journey is when you returned home, 
to eat your favorite dishes that your mother cooked for you, smell the house, cuddle your dogs, say hello to friends walking along your favorite streets where you know every corner. In 2022, the life of our band changed fundamentally. We left our home in Odessa not knowing if we would ever return. It was the difficult road that led us across Europe to our second home, Ireland. We had to say goodbye to one of our band members as he was taken to the war. We have chosen a different path and played concerts in support of Ukraine in Italy, Germany, Ireland and Australia. But when we arrived in Ireland, we finally felt at home again. The country welcomed us with open arms and we felt a connection to the land that we had never felt before. Even after our difficult journey to Ireland, we can't seem to stay in one place for too long. Australia, the land of kangaroos and koalas, a cultural wonderland, we got to know the Australian way of we life. found our place on the branch of an oak tree. But let me tell you, the country proved to be a hard school for us, with its cultural differences and strong contrasts. And of course, the awareness of isolation from the rest of the world Remoteness from home and the absence of the usual way of life has revealed itself. For the first time in our lives, we experience real homesick. As much as we love travel, this time it seemed a step too far. The charm was lost in the face of the hardships. We want nothing more than to go home again, to peace and stability. So where is our journey taking us? Who knows? Maybe someday we'll be able to go home again, or maybe we'll keep wandering the world for years to come. Is our life traveling into the unknown, or will we eventually arrive? We believe that we will keep traveling, which we love so much, as long as we live. All we ask, the heaven above and the road below us. <laughs>